chocolate crackle. He's a perfect sweet snack. Hi everyone. So today we are going to be making chocolate crackle holy moly i love this recipe i was just saying to namal that i do it weekly um, every sunday we do it and um, it basically gives us a nice healthy sweet treat for the week or for my work week now these are the ingredients here not that much most people have these or you can find them pretty easily so let's get to the ingredients so we have half a cup of cacao butter. We have half a cup of coconut oil. So we have one cup of chopped nuts, Brazil almond, cashew, whatever you like. And also in this bowl, I've got two cups of puffed brown rice, but you can use puffed quinoa if you like. I have one tablespoon of honey. I also have a half a cup of raisins and goji berries which have been soaked and a third of a cup of raw cacao powder. So the first thing we want to do is get the cacao butter and the coconut oil in a saucepan and basically we want to just melt it down. We don't want it to boil. Okay, so you can see here that it's turned quite liquidy now. There's still a few bits of the cacao butter that are slowly dissolving away. Okay, so once it is completely liquid, we wanna add in the cacao. Um, so we just wanna pop that one in. And we want to dissolve this one. So basically we wanna grab just a small whisk and stir it away until it starts to dissolve in there as well. So there's no lumps. So once you can see that the cacao is pretty much, you know, there's no chunky bits in there, uh, we want to add the honey in. But what we want to do is we want to turn it off, completely off the heat, um, and just add the honey in. Because it's high in sugar, it might bubble away a little bit if it's too hot. But if it does that for you, just lift it off like that. You just basically want to make sure that the honey is fully stirred in, which won't take too long. We have all the ingredients here now. We've got the puffed rice and the mixed nuts in here. We've got the soaked raisins and goji berries and we have the chocolate um, that we've basically just melted into like a chocolate sauce. Now we just want to mix it all together, so we'll pop the raisins and the goji berries in. And then we'll pop the chocolate mixture that we made in. So mine's still pretty hot. What we want to do is just mix it really well. You'll find that the chocolate um, kind of sauce will try to go to the bottom. You just want to get it through it really well. So just keep mixing it. Now that it's all mixed, we want to put it into a tray or a container or something that's about an inch and a bit thick. Um, now, you can use whatever you want, just line it with baking paper, it makes it so much less messy in the end. Uh, so basically what we wanna do is just pop it in there. Now this tray here is a little bit too big, so what we wanna do is push it down as far as we can. I use my hands, but you can use whatever you want. So just push it down. We really want to compact this down. Push into the edges. And you can feel the edge there. And that's fine. So we can see now, lift it up, that it is about an inch thick. 
So that's perfect. And what we want to do is we want to place this into the freezer. And you want to be patient and not eat it straight away like I always do and let it go hard. So it's about an hour or so. So here we go, here is the end product. After one hour in the freezer, I took it out and cut it just with a normal knife. It's pretty simple to cut and it holds together pretty well. You will get a few little stray little bits like that, but it tastes delicious. That's the main thing. Great for school aged kids and for people like me as well who need something sweet during their work day. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. Leave a comment below if you have, you know, a perfect easy snack. I'd love to hear it. Otherwise, it's time for me to eat these bad boys too. Catch you later. Bye. Pretty, this is how Master Chef people do it. Mmm, mmm, so good. Matt and I, we always pay them out because they always, always, they start, they start making like their opinion about it before they even tasted it. So they'll be like, mmm, it's good. We're doing so well. <laughs>